Sydney is Australia's largest and most popular city, with millions of people visiting each year. The magnificent and world-famous harbour. Unique buildings such as the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House, a superb temperature, and a stunning coastline with many beaches are what set Sydney apart from other cities. If you've never been to Sydney before, the sheer quantity of tourist attractions this incredible city has to offer may overwhelm you. This guide will assist you in deciding which of Sydney's most popular attractions and greatest places to visit. If you're planning on visiting many attractions in Sydney, an iVenture Unlimited Attractions Pass might be worth it. You may save up to 40% on Sydney's greatest attractions, tours, and experiences with this package. Let's see best places to visit in Sydney. Number 1. Darling Harbour Darling Harbour, Sydney's largest recreational and pedestrian zone, is home to a wide range of family-friendly attractions. Darling Harbour has something for everyone, from beachfront dining and frequent fireworks shows to interesting museums and large playgrounds. The Sydney Aquarium, Australian National Maritime Museum, Madame Tussauds, Wildlife Sydney Zoo, Chinese Garden of Friendship, and Darling Quarter Kids Playground are all must-sees. The nearby Darling Quarter and the Barangaroo Foreshore are both worth a visit and are both within walking distance. Both of these establishments have undergone extensive renovations and are now popular lunch and supper destinations for tourists, as well as local office employees and residents. Darling Harbour is approximately a few minutes' walk from the Town Hall train station and Chinatown. The Goods Line, an urban walkway that replaces an abandoned train line, is a fantastic way to travel to Darling Harbour from Central Station. Number 2. Sydney Opera House The Sydney Opera House, which first opened its doors in 1973, is not only one of Sydney's most popular tourist attractions, but also one of the most famous and unique buildings of the 20th century. With many theaters, rehearsal studios, two major halls, restaurants, bars, and souvenir shops, the Opera House has evolved into a multi-venue performing arts center. You will be in amazement when you first see this magnificent piece of engineering. The Opera House's stunning setting only enhances the experience with Circular Quay and the Harbour Bridge just around the corner. Number 3. Bonnie Beach Spending a morning or afternoon in Bonnie Beach, Australia's most popular and well-known beach town, is a must-do on any trip to Sydney. There is literally something for everyone at Bondi Beach. The water is ideal for swimming and surfing. There are numerous excellent outdoor picnic sites, and Bondi's residential streets are densely packed with excellent cafes and pubs. The Bondi to Kuji Coastal Walk is a must-do if you have the time and want a little of hiking. It's no surprise that it's Sydney's most popular walking trail. The vistas are breathtaking from beginning to end, and there are numerous cafes and parks along the way to rest. Bront Beach is located near the midway point of the circuit, which is divided into two portions. The walk can easily be accomplished in three hours, depending on stops. After there, you can either walk back the same route or take a bus back to your starting place. Number 4. Sydney Harbour Bridge The renowned Sydney Harbour Bridge, which opened in 1932, not only has the nicest appearance, but it's also an extraordinary feat of engineering. The 134 High Sydney Harbour Bridge, sometimes known as the Coat Hanger due to its arch-based design, connects Sydney's CBD with the city's North Shore. Walking across the Harbour Bridge is one of the most popular free activities to do in Sydney. That's true. Walking from the rocks to the other side of Sydney Harbour is completely free. From the bridge, the views of the Opera House and Circular Quay are spectacular. The Harbour Bridge Pylon Lookout is an even better alternative. For a nominal price, you can climb to the top of one of the four pylons and see a small but informative museum, as well as enjoy spectacular views. Do you want to try something new? Climb the bridge for spectacular panoramic views of the Sydney CBD cityscape and Sydney Harbour. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that you won't soon forget. Number 5. Royal Botanic Gardens The Royal Botanic Garden Sydney located close to the Opera House and facing Sydney's spectacular city skyline, is home to a huge variety of exotic plants from all over the world. The Royal Botanic Garden, Australia's oldest botanic garden and scientific institution, was founded in 1816. It is a true pleasure to stroll around this 30-acre green oasis. The Botanic Garden is a tranquil location where people may learn more about science, gardens, plants, and horticulture. It is popular with both visitors and local office employees. Circular Key and the Opera House are the finest ways to get to the Royal Botanic Garden, but you can also get there via Hyde Park, the Domain, 
which is close south of the garden. Number 6. Hyde Park Hyde Park, Australia's oldest public parkland, is located on the eastern outskirts of Sydney CBD. To the north, the park continues to the Domain and the Royal Botanic Garden. While not as large, Sydney's Hyde Park resembles New York's iconic Central Park in appearance and feel, owing to its central location in the city. The Supreme Court of New South Wales, St. James Church, Hyde Park Barracks, and St. Mary's Cathedral are just a few of the historic buildings that can be found within Hyde Park's limits. The Anzac War Memorial, a heritage-listed monument and museum near Liverpool Street, is also located in the park. Number 7. Sea Life Sydney Aquarium The Sea Life Sydney Aquarium is one of Sydney's most popular tourist attractions. Located in the northern side of Darling Harbour, just north of the historic Piemont Bridge. From the exterior, it's difficult to believe. Yet the Sydney Aquarium is home to almost 13,000 unique fish and other marine and water species from Australia's buried water ecosystems. The Sydney Aquarium takes about two hours to see on average and may easily be included in a full day trip to Darling Harbour. You may buy tickets online or get a Sydney attraction pass, which gives you access to a number of Sydney attractions at a discounted rate. Number 8. Sydney Tower Eye A visit to the Sydney Tower Eye should be at the top of your list of must-see sites if you want to see Sydney, the harbour, the shoreline, and its surrounding districts from a great height. From the second tallest observation tower in the Southern Hemisphere, the Sydney Tower Eye, which also includes an amazing 4D film experience, you can enjoy the best views. Visitors to Sydney Tower can partake in a variety of interesting activities, including dining or drinking at the rotating restaurant and walking on the observation deck, which is located 820 feet above street level. Number 9. Watson's Bay Watson's Bay is a renowned Sydney Harborside neighborhood located 11 kilometers northeast of the city center. Watson's Bay includes South Head, which is the southern entrance to Sydney Harbor. Watson's Bay has a lot to see and do, which is why this typically quiet neighborhood gets so crowded on weekends. Watson's Bay is a charming tourist destination with a large park in the heart of town, numerous cafes and pubs, a couple of beaches, and some wonderful lookout points. The renowned circular walk around South Head, which begins and ends in Robertson Park, gives some of the best panoramic views of Sydney Harbour, the city skyline, North Head, the Gap, and the historic Hornby Lighthouse. This reasonably easy walking circuit is the ideal way to appreciate Watson's Bay's natural splendor. The most convenient way to get to Watson's Bay is by ferry from Circular Quay. The gorgeous boat ride adds to the enjoyment of the day trip to Watson's Bay. Otherwise, there are numerous buses that run frequently between the city and Watson's Bay. Number 10. Manly Beach You're mistaken if you think the nicest Sydney beaches are all in the eastern suburbs, south of the bridge. The northern beaches of Sydney are just as interesting as their eastern counterparts, with Manly Beach being one of the most popular tourist sites in the city. Manly is a coastal community with a distinct and laid-back vibe. It has two beaches, one facing the ocean and the other facing Sydney Harbour, where the ferry port is located. The Manly Corso, a pedestrian mall dotted with pubs, cafes, surf shops, galleries, and street entertainment, connects both beaches. Manly is such a lovely area to spend a relaxed day that it's easy to spend an entire day there. However, if you enjoy getting some exercise, Manly is the start or end of two excellent hiking paths. The Spit to Manly Walk is a 10-kilometer journey along the coast between the Spit Bridge and Manly, while the North Head Circuit Walk is a 10-kilometer journey through the history and unique beauty of North Head. Both are strongly suggested.